And, yeah. I'm just mad about the contract thing. In fact, they haven't even bothered to fix it. It's something that a lot of people use and they don't even want to bother to fix it. All right, Cozy. Yeah, I'm just going to go and sleep for the night and then um, finish it up there. You can't... Um, since the last patch update, contracts now disappear. So when you sleep at night and you go and look at your contract list, you'll see a whole bunch. Of, it's mainly harvesting ones and seeding ones and a couple other types. <clears throat> grass, grass ones and fertilizing ones stay, but what they do is they just suddenly disappear right in front of your eyes. So you have a whole bunch of contracts and then they just disappear. Am I on the wrong Well, clearly I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> clearly, clearly I'm on the wrong side of the road here. <laughs> That's a weird way to get out of here, but never mind. Oh, no, stop it. Yeah, all right, fine. I was on the wrong side of the road. It is. I'll give it to you. It's my, my fault. We How the hell do I turn around here? Yeah, so... um. Yeah, a lot of people complaining about it because obviously a lot of people like to use contracts, start from scratch and use contracts to build up their farm and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, they just disappear. And of course for me, even worse, because I use contracts for the stream, the part of the competition. A big part of my streaming FS22 has gone down the gurgler because it can hardly get any contracts. So, and Known Giants, I'll have to wait until the next patch, whenever that comes out in the next three years, for it to be fixed, instead of having it fixed straight away, seems it's a big part of the game. So I've actually lost, lost um, my patience with Giants, and I don't think I'll be buying the next one. I think I'm done with it, if that's their attitude to their customers. Because they just seem to be getting worse now. Every time they bring out a patch, there's something goes wrong. Oh, look at that. We've got enough for another truck as well. Let's sleep for the night. Not only do we have enough for another truck, we've also got enough to upgrade the garage. So let's do that. Let's first off buy a truck. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, I mean, I think they redeemed themselves for 22. I think it's a good upgrade to 19. It should have, well, 19 should have been, but um, <clears throat> they've sort of let themselves down with the fact that they've decided to add issues to patches that's supposed to fix things. And then just take their sweet time about fixing the, the things they broke, the patch. Right, let's hire... Um, who should we go with? Actually, you... You would do. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Mix up at home, as in your truck, while you're going out making me lots of money. Thank you very much. And... Garage manager. San Francisco, upgrade for $100,000. Let me write this down. I will write this down. <coughs> and I'll update... Um, EDS as well because we've basically done the same amount of time so ATS we now have what have we got $14,000 211 we now have eight large garages we have 38 trucks 
And I'll go sort out that other thing. Now, for people who don't know, the reason why I'm finishing early today is because yesterday with ETS, the game crashed, and it seems to be a problem with the new pro mods. Um, so I decided to do the same amount of time today in ATS to keep the um, sort of even. And it was because we basically did only managed to do one delivery and we're in the halfway, well, at the beginning of another one when it crashed. So we managed to do one delivery day on this, They're roughly around the same payment, even though I think it was about 70 grand for the ETS one. This is 80 grand, but that's not, not a year and there, is it? Because that's part of the competition. You don't get the same amount of you know, same contracts that pay exactly the same in both games. It's about finding which one make money on the quickest. So doing that, um, yeah, I've got to wait for Pro Mods to come out with a fix for it. I don't know when that will be. So next week, instead of the scheduled one, if there isn't an update, I'm going to bring the Combi mode um, forward a week. So next week will be Combi mode, so anyone wants to join that. But I won't confirm that until just before I go uh, start the stream. Because I'll wait next Thursday to see if ProMods have put out an update. And um, if they haven't, about a couple of hours before the stream, um, I will do the Convy mode. So I will put an announcement on that that's a possibility. Then I'll let people know on Discord closer to the time. If you want to join, you can join. We'll do the Convy mode. So just to let you know, if you are able to join, if you'd like to, and we, if we end up doing the Convy mode next week, uh, you're quite welcome to. So if you haven't joined us before, go check my schedule page out to find out the time. It's the same time as these are streamed. Go check that out. And if you think you can join uh, the one you want to join, you can join ATS, ETS, or both. Uh, be there for both if you want. It's totally up to you. I don't mind at all. And just let me know uh, through DM on Discord. And, uh, yeah, I'll just give you the link to the one mod. In fact, I might have pinned that. Might have pinned that link for the one mod. Uh, the rest of them will be from the Steam Workshop. So, yeah, and uh, I'm going to go off and um, <clears throat> cancel that job on ETS we're in the middle of and then uh, wait until we um, hopefully get an update next week. Because if we do get an update for next week, then we'll be carrying on with the competition and then Convy mode will be the week after. So, but I shall be back tomorrow with the... the my favourite farming simulator 22 I was just talking about. With Kenneth. I have with the competition between me, Smudo, Patreon and DJ. Uh, uh, hopefully DJ. DJ might be up in the end now. He might not be able to make it since he actually went out and got himself a life. The cheeky bigger. How dare he forget us and go out and make money. Who does that? Anyway, so that'll be tomorrow, which is Saturday for me. And then Sunday, same deal, farming simulator competition, a monopoly competition. Monday and Tuesday, back with Dyson Sphere program. I've done little uh, tweaks off the stream. Just things I thought you probably wouldn't want to watch anyway, but um, you'd probably like to see the end result of it, which would be a nice surprise, especially, you know, especially around my home planet. <laughs> Uh, it was a nice surprise for me. So, yeah, something that they added in and I, I ended up utilising. <clears throat> so that's Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday's my day off. Thursday and Friday, yeah, like I said, whether or not we'll be doing the competition, ETS will be on Thursday, ATS will be on Friday. It's yet to know whether it will be the competition between the two continuing with the Mods fix or Convy mode. So I'll let you know through discord anyway guys a big thank you to everyone who's coming along thank you to cause and mike keep me company and kenneth keep me company and chat it's good to see you again kenneth glad you came along glad you got your yeah, mod working again too because it's a good mod that one um and yeah a big thank you to everyone else who's come along whether you've been or gone still here or watching this after the fact either on the twitch vod or the YouTube edits, and the YouTube edits are these streams that I take, cut them up into 35 minute episodes, put them up onto YouTube about two or three days later, and uh, just for those people that uh, have got a busy lifestyle, and might find it easier to watch a couple of episodes, and then go off and do, if that's all you've got the time for, and then come back and start on another episode, just on the rare occasion that if you're watching a Twitch VOD and you can't watch it all, and then your browser decides to forget where you're up to, and you've got to try and find it with a seek bar over a three, four hour stream, it's a pain in the backside, I know, so that's one of the reasons I did it. The other reason too is if you ever want to watch how this sort of competition all started, or other streams I've done, that are no longer available on Twitch, then you can go and watch them on YouTube. 
and you can find a link for that channel on my about page or you can type in exclamation mark youtube into chat that'll give you a link as well all right guys that was enjoyable actually everything ran smooth we didn't have any glitches graphical glitches any lag type things happening uh, no crashes uh, except for me with the truck but no game crashes and the graphics look better to me so yeah no fantastic happy with that it was an enjoyable long drive too i really enjoyed it so anyway hopefully i'll see you in the next stream if i don't i'll see you when i do until then guys take it easy look after yourselves have a great one enjoy your weekend because it's almost here i know some of you got one more day to go but you know, enjoy it anyway make the most of the end of the week and just really remember the weekend's nearly here and prepare to have some fun but until next time, guys, I'll see you when I do. Until then, see you later. Bye, guys.